but if you're stranded in an airport, you're obviously not safe. And Trading in their Saturday for a research day. In Winnipeg, this group of law students is looking at ways to challenge the Canada-U.S. safe third country agreement. It's sort of a, I think it's like a fact-finding mission. Under the agreement, people making a refugee claim are required to request refugee protection in the first country they arrive in, whether that's Canada or the U.S. With some exceptions, Canada must send back claimants to the U.S. entering the country at border crossings. After U.S. President Donald Trump's executive order on immigration and refugees, that's raising concerns about if the U.S. should be considered safe. As a law student, you know, I want laws to work properly. I want them to work for everybody. The idea sparked here with a group of students at McGill University. Organizers put out a call. Now 22 law schools across the country and an estimated 700 students have stepped up to help. Our main message is actually to the Canadian government and it's that if you're going to send out tweets that, you know, we welcome refugees, we want to make sure that we are welcoming refugees and that we're welcoming all refugees. During the emergency debate in the House of Commons earlier this week, Immigration Minister Ahmed Hussein rejected calls to suspend the agreement. That's not stopping students like Renato De Lorenzo. His grandparents arrived in Winnipeg as political refugees from Chile in the 1960s. It's something that uh, really spoke to me on a very personal level. This is part of an effort to support the Canadian Council of Refugees. Tomorrow, two schools will continue the work, compiling information collected from across the country. Alana Cole, CBC News, Winnipeg.